the emergency room at Davis Regional Medical Center in Statesville is now shut down for good, but the transitions for his employees has been less than seamless. Good evening, I'm Brian Blakely. And I'm Alicia Barnes with well, the hospital. is transitioning to a full-time behavioral health facility. And right now, Northeast Bureau Chief Sidney Heiberger shows us why hospital leaders really flatlined on how they closed. Close it down in a month after 100 years. It's kind of crazy. An abrupt ending to a century long journey as staff members at Davis Regional Medical Center walk to their cars for the last time. Less than a week. We were told on Friday the doors were locking Wednesday. Emergency room staff given a five day notice before their department shut down. It's been really sad though having to turn away the patients that had no idea this was coming. We've, we've still had patients kind of show up at our front door. Hospital administration announced last month they would be closing all departments by the end of the year to transition to a behavioral health facility. But they didn't tell staff when each department would shut down. They would given us options to kind of transfer to the sister hospital at Lake Norman, but um, it just seems like there's a, a lot of us and who knows how much space down there. Beth Rash was a nurse at Davis for 25 years. Before that, her mother was a nurse for 30 years. It's like family. It was um, I've, the only hospital I've ever gone to. To her, losing her job there wasn't just the loss of a career. I did experience some anger. I felt like that we were not informed very well. It was just thrown on us. Behavioral health, a major need in the community. Every day we have a huge population of, you know, behavioral health holds in our ER seeking placement, especially, you know, pediatric patients. But the transition. This is a home for many of us. A less than perfect execution. Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News. And as the hospital closes, the next closest one is now reporting an immediate increase in traffic for check-ins at this point. A spokesperson with Iredell Memorial Hospital in Statesville tells Queen City News that they've seen an approximate 20% increase in visits over the past few weeks, and they expect that number to rise. Now, the wait times have varied each day, and they say that it's just too soon to assess if they need to change anything in the wake of Davis's closure.